<laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? It's Double, and today on Six Days, Bob Six is reacting to two of my songs, Answer and Overdose at 18. So let's check it out. I know that you hear me, I know that you see me, I know that you want me, baby girl I know that you hear me, I know that you see me, I know that you want me, baby girl Cold in, pour with the liquor, baby girl Don't let me down now, why the fuck does it have to be like that? Why the fuck does everybody live like that? If I'm done, overdose at 18, it be like that It be like that Overdose at 18, it be like that Can't you see the nights that I wish it on you tonight? Can't you see what I'm going through every night? I can seem to get this pain out of my head I can seem to forget about you I I'm gonna sound like I'm gonna contradict myself here. I, like I said the other day, I won't, due to YouTube's firm grip these days, I won't say how young I was when I became an alcoholic and got into other things. I don't regret that I did what I did. I wonder where I would, how my life would have differed as I've said before, I firmly believe in the butterfly effect. So if I changed any aspect of my past, I would not be who I am at this moment. And I know some of you probably think, well, would that really be a bad thing? <clears throat> but I don't know if it's because the culture, and it may be the culture now. We, I don't ever remember people overdose. I remember people getting some bad other stuff and having bad reactions and getting borderline. But it's almost like we came up knowing our limits. Every now and then somebody dick up and cross the limit, cross the line, and too bad. But these days it seems like it happens more and more. But there's also more kids that are trying to escape sh a shitty home life, regardless if it's a legit shitty home life or a perceived shitty home life. Or they don't like something about them, whatever the case. It seems like kids are overdosing and dying younger and younger and younger and younger. So, I, I should be doing a PSA going, don't do any of it. Just stay in school. But I, I really can't do that. But I would say, know your limits. And if you're trying to self-medicate and get you know, to help you forget about something or feel better about something or deal better with something, get some help, some professional help, because that Band-Aid you're slapping on, it ain't going to work, man. Or manette, whichever. I don't even want to forget about you. I don't even want to deal with it on my own. And I do want to say, all the stuff I did, I wasn't trying to bury anything. I made my peace with all my problems early in life. I just did it because I liked it. I put trust on you, even when I'm alone. You can break anything, everything on my bones. Cold in, pour me the liquor. Baby girl, don't let me down now. Why the fuck does it have to be like that? Why the fuck does everybody live like that? Why, why the fuck would I want you if I'm that over there? It be like
two more pieces. I really like the song. He he's got a good mix. The flow's good. A little bit of the, as far as me, and it could just be my age as far as actually hearing what he's saying. As you saw, I actually had to pay attention. <clears throat> I will say that regardless if you're male or female, or if you're interested in someone and they act, have a dependency problem, don't let them drag you down. And if you think you got a problem that you need to deal with, be it a chemical dependency problem, you need to get help if you can't beat it yourself. But if you're using it to numb yourself to someone that you're crushing on, not being into you, or shitty home, whatever the case, what, why ever you're self-medicating, <clears throat> it's like anything else. Like when you go to the dentist and he gives you the shot and numbs your tooth so you can work on your tooth. When that shit wears off, your tooth still hurts. So it's the same thing with self-medicating. That pain's still going to be there. So you need to face it head on and... I kind of feel like Dr. Phil. If I did a better Dr. Phil impression, I'd do it. Let's move on to Answer. how short it was and plus he just keeps going so <clears throat> sometimes that's the worst thing it seems to be the trend these days I have a lot of younger people that will contact me and younger not young younger people <laughs> that will contact me and they'll ask questions and, and when I answer the question they don't respond it's kind of the same thing like in this scenario if you're not answering, I don't. If you respond to me and told me to get bent, you don't. Whatever, dude, you're stupid. Fine, the door's closed. Don't, okay, but when you don't respond, did you get the message? Do you give a shit? Why did you ask? So, in a relationship, regardless of male or the female, calling who, not answering. I mean, have some balls. If you don't like the person, tell them. I know there's a lot of crazy individuals out there these days, but don't be afraid to say no. I've done a video on that. Before I started doing reaction videos, I did opinion videos. The power of saying no. So many people are afraid to say no. When someone asks you a question, if you don't want to do it or the answer is no, don't be afraid. Say no. So if someone's crushing on you and they keep calling you, 
tell them. If they've asked you 20 questions and the end result is you don't give a shit or you're not going to be with that person, you need to just tell them no and you eliminate all the other stuff. So I don't understand that not responding. But I dig that, man. He did. That's two good songs from him. Appreciate you hanging out. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to make someone laugh. Be safe out there. Don't forget to tell your friends and family each and every time you leave that you love them. Because you just never know and that'll be the last chance you get to tell them. Until next time, I am Bob Six. Peace.